Hi friends, I'm Kelly. And I'm Mark. I'm Rose. I'm Teresa. And we are doing this video in hopes of capturing a memory um, with my beloved husband and our family. Uh, my husband was recently diagnosed with ALS and that is a terminal diagnosis. Uh, thankfully, we know that we do not do this alone. We follow Christ and we know that he is a good provider and a good father and we want to encounter him just as we already have through this journey. Mark, why don't you share with us what you started experiencing? Oh, in the past year, all of a sudden, uh, I've gotten a lot weaker. I had a problem just getting up out of chairs at times, the couch, what have you. Uh, I'd go out and work in the garden and be down pulling weeds and I could not get back up. I would need help getting back up out of the, just to stand back up again. And I didn't think much of it, just wrote it off as getting older, fatter, whatever. And I had my annual physical schedule. So, and I noticed my legs were getting weaker. My foot, I was tripping, I'd fall. But one day, we were just out in the yard playing a yard game and I just fell for no reason, just standing there. So, with my annual physical come up, I, well, I'll talk to my doctor about it then. Well, my physical got canceled because the doctor had some, uh, someone else come up and so a couple weeks later, I finally got back in there and I told him what was going on and he ran just a simple diagnostic test, just checking my sensories, my strength in my muscles and so forth, along with the normal physical stuff. He referred me to a muscular specialist here in town and also did an MRI on my lower lumbar because I do have a herniated disc to see if there's something more going on. Well, the MRI showed no real difference not enough to cause the problems I was having. And the muscular specialist felt it was neurological almost immediately. And then for it, I was referred to uh, Dr. Struthers in Cedar, Rap Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, a few a couple hours away from us. Went down there and went through the diagnostics. He got set to do an EMG immediately. Um, as technicians gave up their time to do this EMG, and they were supposed to go on break. It's the only way they could get me in right away. They gave up their, their lunch break time to do this for me. Um, at that time, they brought up right away that, you know, it could be ALS, but it could be something else. So we went into some further testing. I uh, had to do a uh, three more MRIs, basically. One of my upper back, upper spinal cord, and with my, of my brain with and without the contrast. Uh, I struggled with that, and they ended up having to put me under to do that because it's it made me very claustrophobic and I would have to be there for an hour and a half and I just could not handle that. So eventually we got that done. They also did a spinal tap. Um, was there any other test? Blood, blood test. It took a lot of blood, ran that. Everything came back. Um, no, could not find any other reasons. So uh, bottom line is they diagnosed me with ALS and I have been, have been referred to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, which we'll be going to here in a couple weeks and for a second opinion and hopefully whatever treatment they can provide. Now the ALS is terminal, we know that. I uh, don't know how long we have, typically two to five years for somebody like myself. It could be longer, it could be shorter, we don't know. But my first thought when uh, diagnosed with ALS was, okay, we're gonna make the best of the time we have left. We are going to stay strong, we're gonna do the things that we always wanted to do as a family as long as we can. So instead of dying with ALS, the goal is that we will be living with ALS. Correct. And we are Catholic. We love Christ. We love living our Catholic faith. And so we are praying. We have some amazing prayer warriors out there that have been praying for us. And we are just, we are so grateful. Thank you so much. We can feel your prayers. You know, the, the beautiful thing about our faith is, yeah, we may not have a healing. And we may have a healing. Uh, but the beautiful part is there is that grace of having a good day, you know, having the energy to get through a day or even having humor throughout the day or having the, the beautiful grace of our children serving us and loving us. And there's just so many graces that can come from God and he is so, there's no limits, you know, his love is so big. And so thank you for all of you that have already followed our journey and have supported us and loved us through this. We are just so grateful. Um, we ask that you continue to pray and 
If you want to follow our journey, we ask that you like and subscribe to our videos and ring that little bell and hopefully we can get some more awareness out to other people so that hopefully a cure will come. It's been unbelievable how many friends and family have stepped up to help us already and we've only just begun this journey. Even my employers have been more than kind and considerate, uh, constantly flipping my schedule to accommodate appointments, get me out of there. Uh, all I had to do is call in if I had an appointment the next day all of a sudden, a uh, quick phone call and good enough, done, switched. So they've been very, very gracious and uh, have nothing but great things to say about them guys. Until later. All right. We'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Know that we are praying for you. Please continue to pray for us, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.